What's up, Booty Hoes, and welcome back to our channel. If you're just joining us, I'm Alexis. And I'm Big Richie. And on our channel, we do challenges, sit downs, um, pranks, vlogs, pretty much anything you can possibly think of. And what makes us pretty unique is that... We're black? <laughs> Nah, but for real though, we are an everyday couple like you all. It's nothing different about us. We work nine to fives. We just happen to be um, influencers as well. So Exactly. Um, so we started dating about three years ago. Mm -hmm. And actually, it'll be three years on the 29th since we met. Not since we started dating, but yeah. since we met in Augusta, Georgia. Since then, we moved from Augusta and we now live in Oregon. But we thought this would be the best time to come on back and do another relationship video. Can't believe it's been three years already. Though. <laughs> right, exactly. Three. I can. <laughs> Anyway, if you thought it would be a great time to come back and do our relationship video, last year we did a relationship and breakup series mm -hmm. where we kind of went over our past, our present, what we were hoping for yeah. in the future. Just about everything. Yes, yeah. literally just about everything. But we learned a lot. Yeah, we did. We learned a lot in 2020. 2020 was a crazy year um, for everyone, and our relationship was impacted in a way. A little bit. Yeah, it was. We learned a lot about each other being in the house all done. <laughs> With that being said, let's just get right into this video. But make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe, y'all, because y'all be watching. But y'all don't be subscribing. What is up with that, baby? Do it right now. So we have a list of seven tips written down. We're going to go ahead and start with tip number one. And that is you're going to argue. Woo. So before 2020, we never really argued. We don't have any arguments like talking about. Maybe two arguments in our whole relationship, and they were like really petty. But Honey, this year, honeymoon stage. Yeah, I realized we were out of the honeymoon phase, and I kept telling him that this year. Yeah. I was like, well, last year I kept saying, I guess the honeymoon phase is over. But we did bicker about dumb stuff. You know, yeah. like I don't know. Cause some people petty. Who? You talking about you? Oh, no, I was just saying in general. Just people, you know, <laughs> people in general. You know, oh, no, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't. <laughs> I do not like to argue. At I know all. you don't. I said some people, not Alexis. I didn't say Alexis Allen is petty. See? I said some people. Okay, anyways, what I was going to say about the you're going to argue, you just have to figure out what works for you. Like how to resolve arguments. Because mm -hmm. I'm the type of person who needs to step away kind of center myself, gain my thoughts, figure out what I'm going to say because I could just blow up and that's going to be a problem. Yeah. Him, on the other hand, I don't even like to think about, about it. it. I want to say it right now. Like, nah, let's get this off my chest because I can't control. It ruins my mood. So I got to, like, resolve it right here. Like, I'm not going to wait because I can have a bad day just thinking about it. But your resol your resolution is like you pissed off and you talking to me any type of way and it's like how are we gonna resolve something when you talk when to me? You're like yelling that? and stuff, yeah. Not even yelling, but like I can see the attitude written all over your face. Yeah, and I can't I can't hide it. Right. But yeah, you're right. I like to talk right then and there. Mm -hmm. And you like to wait. Right. So what we not learned not too long though. Not too long. Yeah, not too long. So what we learned it's okay, all right, I'm going to just chill out and wait for her to talk about it. You know what I'm saying? Right. So So we can talk as adults and not be childish about anything or petty. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, by, like, maybe giving it 30 minutes, an hour, I've cooled down, he's cooled down, and then it's like, okay, this is how I feel, this is how he feels, mm -hmm. and we come to a resolution or a solution. Exactly, and it usually it works um, like ninety percent of the time, so that's good. Yeah. That, that other ten, we still be mad, but we still give each other time to cool down because mm -hmm. uh, mostly me, because I, I be mad, I be big mad, and then <laughs> I try to do something to Alexis, like you know, like okay, if I was wrong, I apologize, and I probably try to do something nice, like it could be something like uh, you hungry, you know, and that usually works. She always likes I'm to always eat. Hungry. Yeah, so. <laughs> No, but not only that, I think, too, like, the last two times that we were about to, like, low-key argue or bicker, we just started laughing at each other. Because it's like, are you serious right now? Are we really about to it's do like, that? I can't stand you, but I love you all at the same time. <laughs> like, it, and it, yeah, we did. That was yeah, funny, though. Yeah, literally. Like, because, like, I was like, and, and like, then I looked at him, and I just, like, bust out. Like, I was like, you know what? I can't stand you. 
can't stand you, but I love you. But you know what? I hate you. I hate you too. But it's like, give me a hug. Come here. You know you can't be mad at me. Right. Yeah. So we've been doing pretty good, actually. Yeah. I like this one. Sex is still important. Make sure you still have sex. Yeah. Don't get married and uh, have kids. Make time to have sex because it's important. Right. Uh, no matter how long you've been together, sex yeah. is still very important. It's it's a form of, I don't know, so many different things. I feel like you can relieve stress through sex. Right. It brings you closer. If y'all like, if y'all have been arguing a lot, it, like I said, it brings you closer together. Make up sex. Right. It, it's... It's just a natural thing for human beings to do, first of all. And secondly, it's needed. Because yeah. you can just become so stressful, so tense. It's like, I just, I need this. Exactly. I need, I need this, baby. And my mood changes when I don't have sex, too. I mean, I'm not mm-hmm. having, we're not having sex every day, mind you. Um, but once we have sex, I feel like a weight is off my shoulder. Mm-hmm. And also, it's good cardio. That's how your boy stay in shape. You feel me? <laughs> But sex, yeah, it's still important. Make sure you still have sex. Don't ever schedule sex. I hate that. Do not do that. Do don't not schedule do sex. Make it spontaneous. You right. know, like, don't... And switch it up. Like, yeah. if y'all are getting bored with your sex life, do something different. I mean, and it doesn't even have to be something you discuss with your partner. Just like, I don't know, wear something sexy, ladies, or like, guys, I don't know. Do something different. Do something. Just try a different position. Yeah. Something. Stop doing the side sex. Right. That lazy that sex. Because, yeah. I mean, that get boring quick. Mm-hmm. And that's one thing. Don't ever have boring sex. Make sure it's intimate and give it your all. Right. You know what I'm saying? So. Number three, figure out your significant other's love language. I feel like this literally should have been number one. This yeah. is crucial. Like, it's you important. really need to figure that out. Yeah. If you don't know, take a test. It's a test online. Mm-hmm. And it asks you a variety of different questions. And you will figure out what your love language is. Yeah, and like, for us at least, I love quality time. What else is? That was quality time, too. Yeah. Surprisingly. And what was my other one, though? Um, it wasn't physical touch. No, that was your other one. That was mine, yeah. My second was physical touch, <laughs> obviously. Um, I don't know. I don't remember. I kind of forgot what my other one was. It wasn't the... Words of affirmation? No, it wasn't words of affirmation. Oh, I think it was words of affirmation, actually. Words of second. affirmation, yeah. Yeah, because that, that is kind of me. Like, I like to be told, like... You're like, doing yeah. all right. You're doing, this food was good, baby. Yeah. You did your thing. But it's not like something like I need a pat on the back every second of the day. Um, just like I don't feel like you need to be touched every second of the day. Yeah. But I do. Okay. Feel this appreciated. Is something, yeah, I yeah. always like to feel appreciated. Yeah. And one thing too, well, Richard, this is really funny. Like sometimes I like just come up to him and be like, "Are you okay?" <laughs> and he'd be like. Why are you asking me that? But, like, honestly, I ask him that because, like, I kind of, like, touch him and ask him that because I want to make sure, like, he's all right. And I don't know. It's so weird with him because it's, like, I know that he cares. Like, he knows that I care, rather. But all at the same time, it's, like, sometimes I feel like he gets irritated by the fact that I'm asking him if he's okay. But I feel oh, like nah. he just cares. I just be fine, though, you asking him okay. <laughs> you know, it's kind of like if I'm, like, sitting like this, I can, under- <laughs> I can understand. But I can just be chilling, like. Right. He'd be like, are you okay? And I'd be like, what the hell? But it's Do not I like, look- the, are you okay? It's like, hey, baby, you all right? Like, just checking on you, you know? Oh, okay. I never knew. Because I'm like, do I look mad or something? Because nobody checks on him, he says. He's like, nobody asks me if I'm doing all right. All right. Well, yeah. That's true. Because like, what What do you mean? Am I okay? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> but, yeah. but yeah, if y'all haven't taken your love language test, do it. Because that's going to be important in your relationship. Because your partner might be someone who likes material material things yeah, like feels appreciated by being given gifts and stuff mm-hmm. so and you're always giving them words of affirmation they're like what am i gifted or they might like quality time and you're always giving them gifts and they're like this doesn't mean anything i want to spend time with you yeah make sure you're doing that number one thing on their love language list right all right so number four go on dates this is extremely important mm-hmm. fellas take care of your girl you got to treat your woman like you was trying to get her. You know what I'm saying? That's what I do. Right. I always, I don't get comfortable. I don't be like, well, nah, we went on a date. She'll be good. You know, she loved me. I ain't got to do too much. <laughs> nah, erase that from your thoughts. Because, I mean, if you really love someone, you're going to act like you're trying to get them every day. Yeah. And so, with that being said, go on dates. Take care of your girl, man. I feel like going on dates, 
you're adventuring, you're bringing out the best of each other. Mm-hmm. And that's also quality time being spent together. So I am not. I feel like on some of our dates, we've had the deepest convos. Exactly, yeah. And I am always feel like I'm learning something new about you. Yeah, because it's certain things you're not really talking about on a daily basis because it's opening your eyes up to different things. And you're like, oh, how you feel about that, you know? I actually like to do that. It's my favorite thing to do now, you know? Right. It's like, oh, damn, I didn't know that, you know? So, And also, dates are fun. And it doesn't have to be cost-effective, you know what I'm saying? It, it should, it can be cost-effective. Oh, yeah, it can be cost-effective. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't have to be that expensive. Exactly, yeah. And y'all don't always go out to eat. Like, seriously, I know I like to eat. And I like to go to different restaurants. But she do. <laughs> there's other stuff to do, like go on a hike. Yeah. You know, a I, drive-in movie. Right. I, I did that for you. Exactly. <laughs> that was. I never did that before. I always wanted to. And I'm glad you did. Okay. And it's just little stuff like that matters to me more than anything. You know, like you don't have to spend a thousand dollars on me. Right. You could spend. You could just do something I never did before, and I can experience it with you. And I had a time in my life, every time. Right. All right. <laughs> So this one is something that we discussed in our relationships and breakup series, but we still feel that communication is key. Like that is the number one aspect of a relationship, like something that you really need within your relationship. Yeah, because that follows communication could be the same as trust. And with that being said, like I'm communicating my every move with Alexis, not because she wants me to, it's because I'm letting her know like, oh, well, I'm headed to work. I got to stay late, you know. Um, you know, versus not saying nothing in her mind's just wondering, like, where's Richie? Why hasn't he called me? It's like, I'm going to call you before you call me, you know what I'm saying? Just because I know you, you know I get off at 11.30 p.m. and it's midnight. Like, right. I'm letting you know I'm, I'm staying late versus you like, wait, where have you been? It's, you didn't get home until 1 in the morning, you know? And I think, too, because we do communicate so much, like, if he weren't to call me at, like, 6.30 or 6.45, I would be like, okay, something must be wrong because that's out of character so by you all having those patterns and communicating Mm -hmm. you'll know when something's off or something's wrong like even if there was infidelity in your relationship for instance like if your significant other always calls you at a certain time and then they don't it's like okay like something happened to them are they doing something wrong not saying the first thing you should think is that they're cheating on you but it could be possible because you know that person's pattern you know what that person is going to do so just communicating is essential. And even like when it comes to arguments, we like to sit down and talk about it because then he can see where I'm coming from. I can see where he's coming from. Exactly. So and you can't be too prideful too when it comes to arguments. Right. It doesn't work. You got to compromise. You can't be like, well, you're right. No, I mean like you're wrong. I'm right. I ain't trying to hear it. It's like, nah, it's not going to work. You got to compromise. Let that pride shit go when it comes to your significant other. Right. And I think, too, with communicating, you've learned, like I said, you've learned a lot because it might be something that happened in his past and I could say something and it, like, triggers something or he doesn't like it. And I wouldn't know that because it's like, I wasn't there when exactly. this happened. But it's like, now I can talk to you about it, explain to you why I didn't like that or why I don't like that. And exactly. then we can move on and I won't do it again. Exactly. So, communication is definitely still essential. That is so true. All right, so we wrote down this one. Don't involve other people in your relationship. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I learned that the hard way because one time, actually twice, <laughs> I brought somebody else in our relationship when we was having problems. And it wasn't, it wasn't bad problems, mind you. But other people should never know anything negative about your significant other. Because that's the only thing they're going to think about. I can do a thousand things great for Alexis, but the only thing they're going to remember is that one thing I told them. Like, well, Alexis is doing this and I don't like it. And that's like in the back of their head every time. Like, you know what I'm saying? So don't post anything on social media when y'all arguing. Because a lot of people be doing it on Facebook. Never do that. Never let anyone in your relationship keep everything between you two. And work it out between right. you two. Unless, you know, you go to counseling or therapy or whatever but other than that keep it between your significant other yeah and like you said he bought two people well two people he and two on two occasions he bought someone into our relationship in a sense and i don't want y'all to think of somebody from his past or anything like that it wasn't like that situation but like friends or family like those are kind of the worst people sometimes to go to because first of all they're going to be in y'all's lives pretty much forever Mm -hmm. and you don't want them to have that bias like he said like 
for instance, I say something negative about him to my best friend or to my mom or something, that every time he come around, they're like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. well, Lucky Richard, and Richard. Da, 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 da. And it's like, yeah, that was like five years ago. You know, like, <laughs> like because people are like that. People like to hold anything negative that they have against you. Exactly. Um, or at least bring it up. Like, it, for instance, if you don't agree with them on something or if they're going through something, like, Say, for instance, my friend has problems in her relationship. She don't be like, well, Richard did this to you, so da-da-da-da-da. Like, to make her problems seem like they're not actual problems. You know what I mean? So just be hesitant about bringing other people into your relationship. Um, Anything that y'all are going through, most likely y'all can talk through it together. And if y'all can't, maybe getting a therapist, somebody who's going to be completely unbiased. Um, that would be the best thing to do instead of bringing a parent or a friend into your relationship. 100% agree. Yep. All right, final tip. And this is one that, gosh, we really did learn last year. We, this is new. This is a really new tip. Yep. Give each other space, Mm y'all. Um, we all need it. We all need me time. Yeah. And Richard and I literally do like everything together. We do YouTube together. We cook together, talk, watch TV. Like literally everything. is everything is together. So we both need that self-care time to just take care of our own selves, do mm-hmm. what we want to do. Um, your outlet is what? Playing a game. <laughs> <laughs> Add me online, y'all. Really Richie 12. Xbox. Yeah, we'll put it up on the screen. Yeah. But yeah, he likes to play the game. Um, I like just watch like YouTube. Things. Watch YouTube, but I also like to do my hair, you know, do a, do a facial something, like deep condition my hair. Um, go get your nails done. Go get my nails done, yeah. Me time. <laughs> yeah. Go get my nails done, go get my hair done. Uh, all of those things just like allow me kind of to get some space, think to myself, you know, just chill out. <laughs> yeah, other words to get away from me. Nah, I'm just playing. We don't even get tired of each other. Yeah, really. it's not that I get tired of him, but sometimes, you know, like, you just need that time alone. And not time alone talking on the phone, but just time alone to yourself. Because I find myself a lot of times when I do have free time, I'm, like, calling my mom or calling my best friend, calling my sister. And it's like, you're still interacting with someone else. Yeah. Sometimes you just need to be alone in your zone. Yeah, my alone time is at work, so I'm never alone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm working. So, yeah, when I come home, you know, Alexis works from home. Mm -hmm. So, like, I just go in the guest room and play the game. So, that's, like, my alone time. I mean, after spending time with you, though. Of course. Because main priority is you. Yeah, he's not, like, a hardcore gamer that's like, oh, I'm trying to pull my boyfriend away from the game. No, we don't deal with those problems. I, like, get on for two hours, and it's really when she's doing something. So, it's, like, not a problem. Exactly. And one more thing. Let me just say this, and we'll be done. Never go to bed mad at each other. And also, don't make decisions when you're mad. That's a good one. Yeah, we have definitely went to bed mad at each other, what, twice? Yeah, and that was and not good. <laughs> yeah, we definitely regret that because we always vowed to not go to bed, bed upset with each other and resolve our problems. We were, we were being really petty those two occasions. So, yeah, we've learned from that. And we want to advise y'all not to make those same decisions that we did. Yeah. Um, but other than that, we hope you all learned something from this video. We hope y'all can incorporate some of these tips into your relationship. Is there anything else you want to say, baby? Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe, y'all, because y'all be watching. But y'all don't be subscribing. And we just don't understand that. Listen, y'all, this channel is amazing. Literally, yeah. uh, we put so much hard work into this channel. Mm-hmm. Um, we really appreciate those who have been supporting us along this journey. But, yeah, y'all need to subscribe if you aren't subscribed. And stop just watching our videos and giving us little likes and comments. We need that subscription. We need yeah. y'all to subscribe. Do all three. <laughs> <laughs> all right, y'all. But like we always say, peace, peace love, love, and remember to keep it tight. Bye, you guys. Why you, you, let, you never let me do this. I guess on, I had this in relation. Do whatever your girlfriend says. Right. So wave your hands and say bye. bye.